it gets ready. Alright guys, let's get right into this. We got Suspension XD versus TV Hearts. TV Hearts got second in the tournament last time. Be this is a Battle Rift tournament, by the way. This is a $2 buy-in Battle Rift tournament, the first of its kind. Now, I want to talk about the history behind this match. Suspension XD claims himself to be best, the new generation of best Loki NA. I think he has legitimate claim to the title, too. Legitimately the best Loki I've ever seen um, outside of best Loki NA. And he is a god of Loki, dude. He really is absurdly strong with this character. Now, TV Hearts, on the other hand, this man, this man went up against me in the semifinals of the last Battle Rift tournament. I was like, yo, I got this. Easy peasy. I've seen this man before. I got this shit. This man went Loki. And I was Freya. And I just got insta one shot every single time. So I was so salty. Look at the start coming out here. Suspension going straight for the creeps right there with that little bit of fuck. I forget what it's, you know, you know, you know what it is. I'm choking up here. I was trying to think of the backstory so hard. You know what I'm saying. He's, he's doing the, you know, he's doing the. Watch, Suspension, he doesn't give a shit, dude. He will just take on these ADCs early game. He wants to fight. TV Hearts might be putting himself a little far here, but Suspension, he doesn't have any clear potential right now. So the thing is, he knows. TV Hearts knows this matchup really well because he is a fan of the Loki scum himself. Very, very uh, capable of doing all the nastiest things with Loki. So he knows what he has to look out for here. And he knows Apollo pretty well too. Apparently he plays quite a bit of Apollo. Proxying. He was proxying the wave. I'm sorry I was at a loss for words. He has a slight lead here as well, TV Hearts, because he took those uh, those small creeps over at the red camp. So that's uh, worth noting. Now, I've lost this matchup as Apollo to suspension uh, at least once before. It is a winning matchup for Apollo, but if you're not very well versed on how to fight Loki, like I'm not, uh, example, me losing to pretty much every Loki I've ever fought, uh, you will get bodied because you really have to know exactly what you're doing, you know, what the Loki's up to, and you have to have a solid strategy. Now, TV Hearts goes meditation here. Generally, I see the pickup against Loki either be a, uh, a B, or like a sprint for the first active uh, either one allows you you know the sprint allows you to escape after he slows you with the one um, and the beads obviously allows you to escape the ultimate uh, for the you know the, the rest of the combo that uh, that ensues afterwards also allows you to safely mez right after the uh, the ultimate comes out so this is interesting um, the meditation could get uh, countered out by a weakening or by uh, Brawler's beat stick, which, you know, the Brawler's is pretty core on Loki because he's pretty much going for full penetration. Now, Suspension has to let this uh, red buff go because he doesn't have the uh, the clear or the, you know, contest potential at this stage of the game. He's just trying to get his transcendence online and trying to start farming up. Now, Suspension before this game began said he he's going Apollo. Uh, no, he said he's going Loki. I'm going to shit on him. And then <laughs> he, he uh, TV Hearts left the Loki open, picked a surprise Apollo. We were all excited as fuck to see a Loki ditto in the first time that we would ever be excited for such a thing. Yo, suspension so tricky right here. See, a good Loki knows not to lead with the ultimate. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Will T oh, I think suspension needed to pull the trigger on that ultimate earlier. He's got to get out of here. He's going to go down. No ultimate from suspension. This might be a choke right now. He might honestly be choking because that was that was uh, that was not the suspension we know. Uh, the suspension we know would have ulted immediately as soon as he had that decoy out because it would have guaranteed the damage from both the ultimate and the decoy. There was no beads on the side of Apollo. He didn't react quickly enough, and then he decided not to ult through the wall when he knew it was the only option he had. Was waiting instead for his invis to come up, and that is just rough, man. Unfortunately, not the uh, you know not the play. He was weighing his options. He was saying, can I wait for this invis here or do I have to ult over it? He was thinking the ulting over the wall would be, you know, a big uh, a big blow to him. But, you know, a much larger blow is suffering that first blood. So TV Hearts looking really good here. Um, Loki going even with Apollo into the late game is really how Loki can win this. Because he can one-shot you regardless late game no matter what. Uh, no matter how heavy your build is in defense. Um, but here... 
I don't know, man. With this kind of a lead, TV Hearts is looking really confident. He knows exactly what he's looking for in suspension, man. He might have overvalued his strength on the Loki versus someone that knows how to counter Loki so hard. <gasps> oh my god, but the ultimate comes out from suspension! There we go. He needed that, and it does catch him up a little bit, but unfortunate that he did trade out there because it's his ultimate. That's his ultimate versus Apollo not having to ult there. The only, uh, you know, benefit for suspension there was that he uh, got the... Um, he got the meditation as well. Now, here's my question for a suspension. Why the Aegis here? Very strange. Um, you'd think either beads for the Mez or a meditation of his own. Meditation would have saved him in that engagement too because he would have meditated before his ultimate came out, uh, ensuring that he wouldn't have died in that engagement, whereas he didn't have time to Aegis because he died during the end of his ultimate, I believe. I believe he didn't have time to Aegis that. If he did, then it was just a misplay. Suspension, though, he, like, he never gives a fuck, dude. Just goes right in and tries to apply that damage. But he's at such a deficit right now that he's got to be super careful when taking these fights. Now, I fight the winner of this, by the way. I'm spectating it right now for the stream because I'm sitting here and waiting. Nothing else to do, right? And I wanted to be able to spectate this anyway. Uh, oh, this is tough, dude. Suspension, though. What a smart play with that Aegis. Okay, so maybe that's his idea to go in bait out the Apollo a little bit to fight into that. Uh, oh, no ultimate available for TV Hearts here, so Suspension knowing that is going to aggress very smartly. Uh, but I'd much rather see him go for this red buff here. Instead, he's going to give it up to Apollo yet again, and that is uh, you know, surely not a great option for him here. He, he's so far behind in farm that a little bit of tower poke, you know, is, isn't nearly significant enough to bring him back in this, whereas a, a red buff win would have been massive. Yeah, I am streaming my play, too. Suspension's got to be super careful here. If he gets caught, he will die. <gasps> oh, my God! TV Hearts almost goes down there to a brilliant play by Suspension. The Soul Eater actually saves TV Hearts there, and now he's able to just go and take this uh, this red buff now. And like I said, leaving it open uh, was, a mis uh, was a significant mistake. What a smart ultimate, though, from Suspension, because he would have gone down there, surely, to the Apollo 1. Uh, instead, travels right behind Apollo and is able to uh, uh, to apply enough damage to make him back off there. Once again, this could be a really risky engagement. Smart dash through from TV Hearts. You can tell that this player really knows Loki well. While I've had uh, some qualms with... Uh, um, with the fact that I kind of got fucked because he went Loki and I went Freya in the last time. <laughs> you gotta give- Oh, suspension again, not deciding. Oh, man. Not deciding to go for that buff. Instead, looks for something that isn't there against TV Hearts and just very questionable. Very questionable. The blue buff was open for the taking. TV Hearts was even looking like he was gonna concede it there. And instead, uh, suspension just looks for something that wasn't there against, uh, TV Hearts and just nothing right now. Soul Eater is the perfect item against uh, Loki, by the way. So helpful against him, and Suspension might be undervaluing it right now. Because back when I lost to his uh, Loki in this matchup, now that I think about it, Soul Eater wasn't the way it is now. So if you consider the buff to it and how helpful that is for ADCs against the Loki, that turns the fight so easily for him. Watch, it's going to come out here. We're going to have to see Suspension not able to do much here. TV Hearts can't find the final auto though. Really nicely done by Suspension, but will TV Hearts opt to aggress? No, he's just clearing out this wave and he's gonna take down this tower. Easy peasy. Looking rough for Suspension right now. TV Hearts looking straight for the Fire Giant here. Looks like he knows the option is uh, is his and TV Hearts, uh, or not TV Hearts, Suspension, no ultimate available. So he's gonna have to meander over there and hope that he can uh, catch something. This might be a bad play for TV Hearts though. It doesn't, I don't know man, it's gonna be close as fuck. He'll bring it down, but will Suspension be able to find the kill? No. Wow, that is super unfortunate for him. Was not able to find it and TV Hearts just like that now has access to the Phoenix.
Transcendence fully stacked for suspension at this point. He's got his boots online and he's going for his Jotuns. Look at the difference in gold right now. The difference in builds. 1,500 gold down is suspension. And a full Nemean already picked up for TV Hearts. That's the way you got to play against Loki. Soul Eater plus the Nemean here just affording him so much potential to aggress, actually. You would think that these are defensive items, but the defensive option against Loki is the... Uh, uh, is the aggressive one because it allows you to keep pushing into him. TV Hearts looking to make a big statement here. Suspension just doesn't realize he doesn't have enough damage to take this out here. Really smart decoy, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh my god. The... <laughs> No, the Golden Bow was not enough to take him down there. Uh, the last shot did not bounce off of the Titan. Man, this is so unfortunate to see for Suspension, seeing as he was so confident going into this. I mean, when you're using Loki, it's honestly never over. So you got to recognize that this, uh, this by no means is over yet, but it is very close uh, to being so because TV Hearts, man, he knows this shit. Oh my god, this is so scary. Suspension keeps finding himself caught in these really, really difficult positions to get back from. And uh, looks like TV Hearts might be a little too far pressed up here. No, Suspension almost gonna go down here. Does he have an ultimate coming up yet? Five seconds. Uh, he's gonna take this gamble? I don't know, man. Everything's down on TV Hearts, so. Oh yeah, there it is. But the Soul Eater, that's the difference right there. Soul Eater is legitimately OP, and I think that's going to be Suspension's exact commentary on this matchup as well when we see him post-game. Soul Eater is OP. That's rough, man. It just does the anti-Loki ult, right? As soon as Loki ults and gets you to under half health, it heals all of that right back up. The entirety of that ultimate. Uh, that coupled with the fact that Loki has, or that Apollo has the Mez, giving him, granting him physical protections, is just too strong for uh, Suspension to deal with right now while he's so under level uh, and so underbuilt. He needs to get much more penetration online. He needs to get a Brawler's Beat Stick, most importantly. Uh, but he needs to get defense right now, is his. Uh, is his main concern after this Jotun's because without it, as you can see, he's just getting bursted. TV Hearts looking to go straight for this Phoenix here. He's willing to trade himself out for it as well if need be. Ooh, good shot from Suspension. Gets a nice backstab. Once again, aggressing forward, but he won't be able to win this trade, so this will most likely be a down Phoenix. Uh, suspension ultimate coming up, though. He shouldn't have taken that auto. Wow, look how much it did. Ah, I really think he needed to wait there for the Phoenix. And TV Hearts just taunted this man i can't even put it into words he asked him what's his elo and he's about to tell him god damn tv hearts man making a statement in this game but you gotta admit man suspension he was all ready for the loki ditto dude he said this guy's gonna loki ditto me i am the new best loki na and i will shit on him and tv hearts dude he backed down he left the loki open and he said no I am a, this is the tournament winner right here. I don't have anything to prove. Instead, I'm going to play to win a fucking tournament. So he just let it go, let the Loki through, and said, I'm going to pick the one true counter here in Apollo with Soul Eater online. And damn, man. This is just not going the way that suspension expected. The Titan is so low here. Pops Shell, so that's a... Oh, that is so rough. I knew he was going to taunt after that. The Spam Taunt comes out. TV Hearts knows he's got a winning position here. Fire Creep's coming in. Suspension can't clear these as well as he needs to. Uh, oh, man. Look at this. The Creeps are still about half health each, and the Titan is very low. Suspension, Aegises. This is going to be it, folks. TV Hearts unable to hit that final one there. But will it matter? He takes him out regardless. What's your ELO? He will go down to this, though. Not able to finish it up. All he's got to do is ult it. So unfortunate for suspension, man. Yeah, in terms of, um, in terms of, what's it called, uh, outplay here, I mean, it really was an out, 
pick, right? It's hard to gauge like outplays when someone picks the act absolute counter god here. Um, while Suspension was very, very confident here against the Apollo, he had to know it was a losing matchup, right? And look at that. TV Hearts, man. No respect. Absolutely no respect shown. I'm going to do something right here, and I'm going to take this man out myself, dude. Last time, I lost it to the Loki scumbag, and I want to find it here, dude. TV Hearts probably watching right now. I'm calling you out, son. Let's see how it goes. I'll record this one as well. If I get bodied, I get bodied, but I'm going to try to fight it out for suspension and redeem his honor. Let's do it.